In this video, I want to continue setting up our basic store using WordPress posts. Now, we've created some posts and some categories, but right now you can't access them from our menu here. So let's go into Appearance and Menus, and we're going to add these items to the menu. Now, this is where we're going to see the advantage of splitting our categories between Store and Blog. By the way, this is by default on most used, and it might look like you're missing some categories. What you do is you click on View All. There we go, now we can see all of them. Now, see how we've got Blog and Store separated. Perfect, we can add to the menu. They're all using posts, but we've separated them, and we've said these posts belong to Blog, these belong to the Store. So now on our menu, you can see here, blog and store. Let me just save that. When we go back now, we've got our two separate areas of the site. Again, we're using WordPress posts for both of them, but visually to the visitor, they're actually separated. So if I go to blog, I get, right now we only have one blog post but I could continue blogging separately from my store, which now shows me all of the products I've added so far. Notice it's bowls and plates together, so it's anything from the store. What if I want to give people separated categories on here? Well, all I have to do is view all, and I'm going to give them bowls and plates. Add that to the menu. There they are. Now, right now, if I save this, Notice, of course, they're going to all appear on the main menu, store, bowls, and plates. Well, we want these to be underneath store, so all we have to do is go back to here and drag them over to the right, like this. We've got to save our menu, don't forget that. Now we've got submenu items. Now most themes these days can handle this all on their own. Sometimes you might have to modify your theme to accommodate this, but you know, this is out of the box from WordPress 2011 is the name of this theme. It all handles it automatically, store bowls. And in fact, if we want to go back and we want to get very fancy with this and have a detailed menu, we can add these and put this underneath. Notice again, I'm dragging a little over to the right again. And this is nice too visually because it quickly tells you what's a submenu item of that. And we refresh again. And now we have a third level on our menu. When we mouse over bowls, we go to wooden bowls, plates, we go and we just find anything that's a hand painted plate. In this case, let's do it again. Here, hang on, I didn't click on it properly. It's one of the tricks of those drop-down menus is sometimes they're not easy to mouse over. All right, hand-painted fruit plate. Now, what we want to do is show you an example of a gallery within this particular post. And what do we need that for? Well, in this case, for example, if I go to all posts and I find my hand-painted fruit plate, we go to visual mode here. I've put in some other images here. You can see gallery, three items. There's now three pictures associated with this particular product. I've put in some details because I want people to be able to see up close what some of the elements look like on this plate. So when you have more than one image, you get what's called a gallery here that you can set up. And it's right here. And this is where we'll insert the gallery. Now, you've got to position your cursor in a certain way in order for this to work. Now here we've got a large image and very little text on this side. If I simply go like this and I go and insert my gallery, watch what happens. Gallery, insert gallery. You can see the blue, this is like a placeholder box for it. I update. Now when I refresh, look what happens. It's all kind of messy. These are supposed to be three in a row right across. The reason that happened was that this picture is quite large and this area is quite small and so it's trying to fill this space in here. 
So all we have to do is go like this. If I go return, 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 until I see my cursor go below this image, notice this blue box is still in the same place, but my cursor is now down here. Watch when I update. Let me come back to this. Now, if you've got lots of text that's taking up the space here, of course, this isn't a big issue. But for those situations where there is some space, you need to fill it, so to speak. So now we've got some nice details here. I want to see what the edge looks like. Now, the way WordPress is set up by default, this literally goes to a new page. We could also simply have the image itself come up, but it just sits in the browser and it looks a little confusing for people. But this isn't so great either, because I've got to go back, and then if I want to see this one, I've got to scroll down, and then I've got to go back. It's not very user-friendly. And that's where a special plugin comes in handy. We're just going to go put it in right now. Add new. This is one I like to use called Lightbox Plus. There it is. Lightbox Plus. And what it's going to do for us, let's install this, is it's going to automatically create nice pop-up slideshows for us. Activate it. Now, one of the things you have to do in this, I think it's under Appearance. Yes, that's right. Lightbox Plus. You do have to go in and make a setting here. Use for WP Gallery. This is under Other Settings. Use for WP Gallery. If you don't do that, it's not going to function properly. Save our settings. And the other thing that's crucial is, let's go back to our posts. In order for Lightbox to work, you have to make sure that this is set here. We go to the gallery. And we click on that little button there. And we make sure we say, use the image file. OK, if, as it did before, it was going to an attachment page, if it's set to that, the pop-up light show won't work. So there's image file, link thumbnails to image file. Let me update the gallery settings. Don't forget to update your page as a whole, so it's going to remember those settings. And when we go back to here and we refresh, now we're going to have a beautiful pop-up. And look, I can scroll through all my images just like that. Isn't that great? So that looks really, really nice and makes it much more functional for people. So those are some ways to add your store to your menu and to add more images to a particular product page.